When I think about the legacy of Martin Luther King, of course, everyone re remembers the uh, I Have a Dream speech uh, that was delivered on the, on the steps of the, the Lincoln Memorial. But what's more profound, I think, about his life and his work is what he talked about in the later years when much of what he was saying wasn't very popular um, for those in power. That is to say, he was challenging the Vietnam War, he was talking about poverty, and of course, he was assassinated uh, 50 years ago you know, when he was there advocating for, for workers, for sanitation workers who were striking in Memphis. You know, so he was asking the tough questions about society, you know, inequality, uh, war and peace, um, you know, questions that um, even those who believed in his nonviolent approach to inclusion and equity didn't always subscribe to. So when I think about a place like UCLA and why many of us, um, first of all, chose to go into academia and to come to a place like UCLA, I think it's really about grappling with the world's most pressing issues and figuring out ways to bring evidence and scholarship to bear on those issues so that we can really pave a path forward um, to a world that's, that's better than the, the world we currently have.